Muggs Learns How to Adapt, written and illustrated by Dr. Susan Whiteland. Muggs knew he was the most beautiful mug on the shelf. He recalled how he was far superior to that tiny teacup and ugly plastic bottle that had been right next to him. Obviously, his boy noticed Muggs for his shiny blue size and expertly crafted slender handle. Muggs heard the boy say he was choosing Muggs for the perfect teacher gift. That's why here he was nestled in cozy, soft bubble wrap that was tickling his foot. When Muggs' boy reached home, he unwrapped Muggs and began showing Muggs off to all his family. Muggs took great pleasure in being appreciated for his sleek styling and gently curved mouth. He could only guess how happy the boy's teacher would be to have him, the perfect teacher gift in her possession. Muggs thought to himself that he, with his slightly rotund clay body, would keep coffee, tea, or hot chocolate warmer and better tasting than any other drinking utensil. The next morning, Muggs' boy began racing around his bedroom, hurriedly stuffing pencils, papers, and books into his backpack. At the last minute, the boy slid Muggs next to his electronic tablet and zipped the backpack closed. Muggs felt a bit uneasy in the dark and crowded space, but comforted himself with the idea that soon he would be sitting on the teacher's desk. Muggs began to boast to one of the pencils, you know, I'm really too special to be in here with all of you. I'm to be a teacher's gift, said Muggs. The electronic tablet warned. I wouldn't be so prideful, she said. See the scratch on my face? There was a time I was new and treasured too. Then the boy failed to protect me, and this is what happened. Oh, don't worry, said Muggs. I'm too good to ever be mishandled or abused. About that time, slap. The backpack flew through the air and landed on the ground with a thump. Muggs let out a groan. Ow! Muggs' beautiful handle snapped off. Oh no, said Muggs. I'm ruined. My mouth is chipped and my handle's completely dislocated. I feel a crack running down my side. Oops, called the boy's voice. Zip, went the backpack. The boy reached into the backpack and lifted the ruined Muggs out of his pack and onto the teacher's desk. I'm sorry, said the boy. Miss Artsy, I was planning to give you this mug as a teacher's gift. I guess this gift is only good for the trash can now. Just a minute, said Miss Artsy. Let me see what I can do. Mug stood broken and embarrassed. He felt dejected and blamed the insensitive, irresponsible boy for wrecking his life. Surely Muggs was good for nothing now. Miss Artsy brought the broken mugs to her workspace, where she had a mosaic design laying on a table before her. Miss Artsy said to the boy, if I may keep this little broken mug, I can take his broken pieces and make him into a beautiful mosaic. Although he looks useless now, I can use his pieces to become something very special. Mugs heard the boy quietly agree. Before long, Muggs' broken pieces joined a kaleidoscope of many other colorful tiles and pottery remnants. Muggs settled into a calming, muddy pace, then later was soothed with a massage of grout that connected him to his new neighbors and now friends. Muggs no longer saw himself as the one and only perfect one, but instead he recognized that joining others in a common good could bring about something much bigger and better than what he could do or be by himself alone. This book utilizes the Arkansas curriculum standards for fourth grade. They include the reading literature, describe how a character changes throughout a story, also explain what information is gained from adding multimedia elements to the reading of a text, and vocabulary standards, determine or clarify the meaning of words and phrases in text, read aloud, or independently. The Guide for Life program with the support of the Arkansas counselors and educators is designed to give K-12 students a plan, a literal five-step process that they can follow to achieve personal success. This guide curriculum enhances social-emotional learning for the students.